All right, should be recording now. Okay, um, just a, a quick review of what the video is about. If you didn't get the whole thing, um, I went down into my the coach online office. Oops, and um, I went down to. I don't know if all of you know. Can, can you just bring this down? Um, the coach policies and procedures. I think that not everyone has um, even knows these exist or has read them. So I want I want everyone to be aware of them. And um, I really was go down discussing um, page thirty six. But you know you really should review all the coach policies and procedures. Um, really, but all of these. Um, well, I mean, a lot, you know, some of the, the bonus buying and the different, you know, it, yeah. it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to scan what, what's involved, but on page 36, it goes over basically what I'm talking about in the video today. That's 37. Up, yeah, 30, 36. 36, up a little bit. <laughs> this it's, is probably the only part yeah, of the, the policies and procedures that I've really read. And I've, I've read it like countless times. Yeah. This so, is like really the most important part of the policies and procedures. Like everyone should read this a couple of times. Yeah. Pages 36 and 37. And I would actually print this out because when, when I was a coach, they actually sent us the policies and procedures and it was really a great um, reference. And I think that's how I really learned about, you know, team cycling and rank advancing and all the stuff that we're discussing in the video, like all the ways you earn as a coach and then when you rank advanced to an emerald, team cycling, um, and they have the chart, how to team, how you cycle, and then we'll go over that, you know, in more detail. I mean, there's really two main ways that you earn. You got your retail commission when your customers order from you, and then you have your team cycle bonus when your the coaches in your downline buy and sell stuff from them, their customers or their personal orders. I mean, really, that's, those are the two main ways. And, like, you know, you're not going to make a ton of money just off your retail commission. I mean, if you sell five challenge packs a month, you hit Success Club 10, you're going to make 250 bucks or around there. You know, it's not too bad. But, you know, the real potential of this business, the, the full-time income, if that's what you guys are looking for, that's going to come from the team cycle bonus. And that's uh, what we're going to talk about, how to, like, really increase your team cycle bonus, increase your team volume. Yeah. And then I wanted you to be aware, aware of this is um, how you, when you um, cycle in rank advance as an emerald, a lot of people don't realize your max that you can earn is $250 a week with your team cycle bonus. So that's another reason to get yourself to emerald. I mean, to diamond, and this is a push to diamond. It's another reason as an emerald, you, when you cycle, you make $14 a cycle. And as a diamond, you make eighteen dollars a cycle, but you're you're limited to two hundred and fifty dollars. So as an emerald, so no matter how many people, how much you um, make with your cycling, even if it was a thousand dollars, they're only going to pay you two fifty. You're going to you're going to lose the rest. So as a diamond, you can make two thousand. And then you've heard people when they rank advanced to one star, two star, three star. There's there's a couple of reasons why people rank advanced. They rank advanced for the bonus at a two star, five star, 10 star, and 15 star. And there's also the recognition that goes along with that. But one of the real main reasons that you must rank advanced is as you build your team of coaches and your volume and your team cycling um, keeps growing, you are maxed out at ranks. Like at a diamond, you're maxed out at $2,000. Like, I don't know, about a month ago, I made $3,200. And if I was a diamond and I made, I would not, I would lose $1,200. I would, I would only make the 2000 And Pat, the same thing. He's been up to, what have you been up to? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so he needs to be at least like a four or five star diamond. So, I mean, that's, that's one of the main reasons that you really need to get your business, you know, to diamond, to one star, to two star as your team grows. So this is something that you really want to be aware of. Okay. And then it goes into that, what we were talking about, the, the diamond, the, when you're a two star, five star, 10 star, 15 star, actually how they create your bonus. 
Donnie, and then Donnie just texted me. She said, aren't you just so proud of your mom listening to her talk about this? She's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, everyone's seen this, this chart, but this is something, you know, to be aware of that the more you just read um, all the ways that you earn, the more confident you become so that you can explain it to your coaches. And um, that gets them excited because when you, when you really understand um, cycling and the potential of this business, the sky's the limit and your income is and the people that you can help. I mean, you pass that on to your coaches and they feel the passion and they'll want to stick around with you. You know, this is not a get quick rich scheme. It takes three two, three, four years to get up to this income that's going to give you your big, you know, whatever your big why is, you know, everyone's is different, but this is the vehicle can get that can get you there. But it does take time. So when you understand that, you won't quit. And, the, and if you can explain that to your coaches and they understand that, they're going to stick around. And Coaches uh, that quit, they just they didn't understand what they were quitting on. Right, exactly. So you've seen this chart, and then it goes into the star diamonds. I'm not going to go into all this right now. I mean, we could do another video on, you know, once you get to diamond and star diamonds. That's good homework for them to, kind yeah. of, to look yeah. at that. And then um, the glossary is excellent. You okay. know, you hear all these terms. Mm -hmm. You can get in there and actually figure out what they are and ask questions in the boom fan. Okay. So now i got to get out of here. Or whatever coach group you're in. Yeah. So you want to get out of here? Back to your coach on the office. Got so many freaking tabs. Where do you want to go? Okay. So, um, so we're gonna share someone's um, their. Who do you think, Danny? You want to share someone else's? Yeah. Uh, yeah. After, I, would do, after. I would do. I would do Donnie's. Yeah. Okay, Donnie. Um, we if if you will, we'll have you um, share your coach online no, you office. But well, wait. First, I was just. Oh, sorry. <laughs> first, I was going to go in and show you my downline over to my sponsorship drill down and show you what an organization looks like if you stick around for the long haul. Um, how. If you haven't read, I did mention the 45 second presentation, a book, and everybody's probably read the slight edge, the compound effect, which is doing the little things daily, whether you want to or not, being consistent. You can slight edge, your little spiel. <laughs> I have a spiel. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think I think I looked at this business as uh, you know something that was like reserved for a select few, you know, people that had like certain skills or had a certain network. Uh, when I like got to meet these people and got to like hang out with them and chat with them, I realized like they're not anything different than me. They have doubts and insecurities. And th the thing that made them successful was that they just did the little things every day and they had, they had been doing it for a long period of time. And then I read the slight edge and I really started to understand that that's how this business works. It's not, Success with this thing isn't like something that happens overnight. It's not like some monumental thing. It's these little things that, that you do every day that compounded over time turn into something pretty big. Um, and when I realized that that's all this business is, like who can just stay consistent through the, through the hard times and the good times, then I knew that I could do that. You know, anybody can be consistent with the vital behaviors. The, what I do every day and what, what we all do every day is, you know, not something that is like overly complicated. It's just a matter of doing them when you don't feel like doing them every day. You know, everybody does them when they feel like doing it, but the coaches that are successful, they do them when they don't feel like it. And they do it for a long period of time, for a year, for two years. You know, and the cool thing about this is you don't have a boss. You know, there's no like limit on this thing. Like no one's going to fire you for not being great at selling challenge packs or signing coaches your first year. But if you stick with this long enough and, and people are watching you and they see you becoming a product of the product, they're going to want to get involved with what you're doing if, if you're consistent long enough. So there's no time limit on this thing. Um, you know, that's, that was the biggest thing I took away from just hanging out with successful coaches and reading the slight edge. It's not, there's no like magic pill. It's just a matter of doing the little things, you know, for a long, long time. And I had one of my coaches text me after um, Amy and Pat were in Andrea, I think when they spoke at the um, summit 
And he's like, wow, they're, they are so successful and they're so lucky. And I'm like, I mean, immediately I was like, I had to text this long to him. They are not lucky. You know, they are doing the same thing every day. They're just consistent. They're the slight edge. They do it whether they want to every day, day in and day out. You know, that's the thing that a lot of people think, oh, aren't they lucky when they look at people that are successful, but they haven't looked at all the work they've put in over time. And it's nothing magical. That's the thing. You know, once you sign, get one customer into a challenge, a challenge group, with a challenge pack and convert them to a coach, you've basically done the system. You know, there's no nothing magic about the system, and that's the cool thing. Yeah, I mean, I would probably, I would be willing to bet that, like, the majority of the coaches that of you guys that are on this call that are, like, willing to put in the 20 bucks and get into this dash of diamond, I'm willing to bet that you guys are probably more capable at having success with this business than I am. You know, I think the only difference between me and you is that I just have – and doing the, the little things longer. And that's honestly it. You know, it's, I'm just an example of the slight edge or the compound effect or whatever you want to call it. So after the slight edge and the compound, compound effect, my favorite book is the 45 second presentation because that's about building your organization. Now that you know that there's no magic to this business and you just do the same little things day in and day out, whether you feel like doing them or not, over time you will have success the 45 second presentation is so cool because you don't need to have like a hundred coaches or 200 coaches. Like you're never behind on this going like, I can't catch up to these other people because they have so many coaches. When you look at my organization, I've been doing this for over five years and I have 20 coaches and I'll, you know, some of them are discount coaches, but I found like in the 45 second presentation, I have three gold chips. So far, others in the works. But um, the cool thing is that then you put your effort into, once you find them, I mean, nobody usually finds a gold chip. They don't just come out a gold chip. You do have to help um, train them, mentor them to, you know, be able to do, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I would say like, <clears throat> So my thing, so that with, with this business, like, um, honestly, like, this is the one thing that I think a lot of people don't understand. Like, when you first become a coach, I think that you think, a lot of coaches think to be successful, you have to sell a lot of challenge packs to be successful. And then you get a little bit smarter and you realize, okay, it's more about the, the team volume. I, I got to just sign a ton of coaches. And then you get even smarter and you realize I don't need to sign a hundred coaches. I just need to find and develop two or three really good ones that want to do this with me. And honestly, that's all it takes. I mean, she, my mom's making well into the six figure income range and she has three solid, really good coaches that she's found and developed into gold shipped. What happened? I, I have to go down farther because I'm so deep. And that's like, honestly, you, once you get that, once you understand that that's all it takes, you just need two or three, what do you, whatever you want to call them, gold ships, leaders, you know, people that are all in with this thing, people that are making this their plan A. Once you find those two or three, your business is going to take off. And that's something you just have to have that feeling in your gut that you're going to, no matter what, it's inevitable that eventually you're going to find two or three good people that want to do this with you. I mean, why wouldn't? you'll be able to find two or three people eventually that want to do this with you. If you're sharing a good idea long enough, it's going to find the right people. So you just got to have that in your gut. And the cool thing about that, when you have that, that like unwavering belief that it's inevitable, you're going to find two or three people that want to do this with you. When you're talking to people, they're going to look at you and say, okay, this is someone that I'm either going to join and do this with them, or I'm going to get left behind and they're going to be successful without me. People want to join something like that. But if you're going around like, hoping that this person is going to be the next person that's going to make you successful. People are going to say, all right, this person's like hoping that I'm going to be the one. They're kind of like waiting for me to do something and they're not going to want to be a part of something like that. As soon as I made that, that shift in mindset of I'm going to be successful with this, I'm going to find two or three people that want to do this with me. It's only a matter of time. I hope you're one of them. If not, I'm still going to do it without you. People didn't want to get left behind and they wanted to be a part of it. So that's something you just got to, you got to know that that's all it takes to be successful with this. Those two or three gold ships or rock star leaders. And then 
just don't give up until you find them. It's inevitable that you will. Like I said, there's no time limit on this thing. And, and you also don't have to do what I did or Pat did, and I think my husband did in the beginning. We only talk to the same five people about a hundred times, like over and over and over. <laughs> and the cool, the That's other right, cool we got to move on. <laughs> the other cool thing is like, we, you know, I say you got to find those two or three good leaders to really like take your business to the six figure income, full time income thing. They don't even have to be personally sponsored by you. Right. You know, you could sign up a coach that uh, is kind of halfway in, halfway out, and they, sign, and they bring in a coach that really wants to do this. That's where your time should go. So Work with the people that have yeah. the most potential, whether so, they're personally sponsored or not. And your two or three gold chips, your two or three leaders that are going to help you create this full-time income and impact a lot of lives, maybe they're personally sponsored, maybe they're not. And we're going to talk more about that. So now that we're talking about the gold chips, I have my daughter, Andrea, and from her – you know, I have, like I said, I have, I had like 800 coaches at the beginning of this year and it's taken like five um, years to get there, 800 in my downline. And now within 10 months, I have 1600 coaches in my downline. And that's how the, the, the coaches in my downline are finding coaches. And there's a lot of gold ships in a, I have a lot of diamonds in my downline. They're not personally sponsored by me. I only have three personally sponsored. Um, I'm a three star diamond. So I only have three diamonds. But when we go into my daughter, Andrea Wallace's downline from here, there's 900 coaches from her. And like Patrick said, from uh, her, not like, not personally sponsored. No, not personally <laughs> sponsored, but she signed up all these coaches, and one of them was Danielle Zambito, and she works the business, but, you know, at her own pace, but she signed up Michelle Phillips, and this is all in my downline, Andrea's downline, and Michelle left, the, you know, so she... this is what I would say is like, and I think this is where a lot of coaches mess up. They, like, sign their coaches... And then they like kind of, they're like, all right, you're a coach. And then they go off and try to sign another coach versus like spending time with Andrea. And then, okay, Andrea brings in Danielle. Now my mom's going to help Andrea train Danielle. And then Danielle brings in a coach, Michelle. So now my mom and Andrea and Danielle are all kind of helping to train Michelle. That I think a lot of coaches, and I've, I've made this mistake too. I think as coaches, when we bring in a coach, we like think of it as like you have a little kid on a bike trying to like ride a bike for the first time without their training wheels and you got them from behind and you just kind of like push them they're gonna fall but it, what you got to do with a little kid that's learning to ride a bike you got to run next to them hold them around the waist hold the seat hold the handlebars and run with them so when they get that first coach you need to tra help them train that first coach and then like continue to run alongside them then that coach brings in a coach you're still running alongside them until that coach feels comfortable enough to, for you to let them go and let the bike go. But first you got to run with them and hold the handlebars and the seat alongside them. So that's what we did with like Michelle. Danielle was, you know, not as much in the business. So Andrew and I kind of jumped over her to Michelle and Michelle signed Alyssa at the same time. So we actually were training Michelle and Alyssa kind of um, parallel because they were both new together. So then once we got that going, you know, then Michelle and Alyssa really took off in their own, and then they have their own coach groups, each one of them. And then along with that, um, with Michelle, we also had Shauna. And all of this kind of comes from like three or four coaches that were trained and developed in my downline. They weren't personally sponsored by me. They weren't personally sponsored by Andrea. And we just worked with them. And then they got the confidence. And then they work with their downline. And they do the same thing. But sometimes now, like with these, these Emerald trainings and stuff, we kind of jump down and do some of those trainings still. It's like, you know, you're always there for support. But volume is volume. Coaches, like I said in my video, all coaches are the same. You know, so it doesn't matter whether I personally sponsor them or not for your downline. It, every, everybody's has the same value. Everyone's, you know, every coach is, what did I say? No coach left behind. Yeah. Every coach has meaning in your organization and you want to build this um, 
together. And that's what's so cool about it, that it's not just you and your own personally sponsored coaches. And what I've noticed is like when I, when I go down like two or three levels deep and I'm starting to work with a coach and they're starting to get it and it clicks and they're starting to get more excited, obviously that helps that coach. But the coaches that are above that coach, like my personally sponsored coaches, they get excited too because they see their coach getting it and getting more into it, which obviously starts to make my coach more excited about it. So going a couple levels deep and working with your non-PS coaches, I think is almost even more important than, than working with your PS coaches because it has a ripple effect all the way back up through your organization. So do we want to... Um, yeah, anything? I think it'd be cool to show like... Um, do you want to do volume, like the volume thing? You want, you want it from me or do you want to use – I mean, I don't care if you want to use mine or – Or do you want to do graphical genealogy? Yeah, it's just kind of crazy with mine, but okay. I would just do Casey because you won't be able to see Donnie in yours. Okay. Oh, you want me to – got to find her. I'm going to go down. Why don't we like stop right there like, and let them ask if they have any questions about yeah. that first. Okay. So you guys can uh, we'll, like, take like two questions because <clears throat> that okay. might have been a little confusing for some of you. I think, you know, this really works well when you do it like one-on-one -on -one with something. It's a little bit confusing when you're trying to like do it with a group. <clears throat> but if, well, why don't we just do like two questions and then we can kind of move on. I'm going to open. I'm going to go into Casey's. So you guys can unmute yourself. Any questions about that, what we just talked about? I think everyone's muted. Can you unmute them? I think they, if they can just unmute themselves if they want to ask okay. a question. I got to go into cases. I have a question. Go for okay. it. Okay, so um, I have one gal that I just signed. She's interested in coaching. I have mm -hmm. another one that's wanting to sign up to be a coach. And I'm just like curious, like I want to be part of the teaching process. And I know Peter, he's been helping me teach me. He needs to be a part of that. Is like he and I train the ones, the people that are interested in coaching. I'm trying to find who's talking. On this I'm Crystal Busker. Oh, right there. Right there. Uh, yeah, so like I will the question is like how involved should your upline be? Yeah, basically like I I guess more or less I've never taught anybody the ropes before so I'm gonna lean on Peter to help me do that, but I mean Yeah, so like what I would do is With your new coach you signed up. I would do like a three-way call with you your new coach and your upline and let your upline train the coach while you watch. So like for me, like as a leader, like that's you first, it's like I do. Right. And then the next is I do and you watch. So like I would get you on a call, I would train a coach and you watch and I will do that, you know, with as many of your new coaches as you need until you feel comfortable. And then, then, then the next step is you do, I watch. So then okay. you, actually do the training of the new coach, but I'm still on there to watch as it's kind of like your safety net. And then the okay. final step is you do without me. And then okay. your people watch. But it's, I would first, it's first, it's my dad does you watch and, and then you'll do that as many times as you need. And then it's you do, but he'll still be on to kind of watch and be there in case you need help. Okay. Cool. And then the cool thing about that is like, if my dad takes that extra time to do that with you, that's going to help you become more successful, you know? And then that's going to basically like help him duplicate himself. So then you'll get to the point where you don't really need him anymore and you're like self-sufficient, which is great for you. I mean, you're going to be more successful with your business, but it's also great for him because he has someone that's killing the business, doing really well that he just has to check in with here and there, uh, which is also fun. So that's like, I mean, it's a good amount of time, investing a lot of time in, in the beginning to do that, to get you to the point where you're self-sufficient, but that's the name of the game. You want to like get your coaches to the point where they don't really need you anymore. You know, that's where you create a ton of freedom in your life.
when you've able, been able to like dupl duplicate yourself and, and create these leaders. So yeah, it does take time to do that, but it's so worth it. Versus like just signing coaches and throwing them out there on their own and then worrying about trying to sign a million other coaches. And you're just, you're just having a revolving door of coaches coming in and out, coming in and out. And you're never creating those solid rock star leaders. And remember, it only takes two or three really good ones to really take this business to the next level. So it's worth it to invest that time to help your coaches develop into those leaders. And, and the people that are in this group, like Dash to Diamond, I mean, those are the people that are going to stick with it. Because once you get to Diamond, you know, um, you know, like we said, a coach, when they're a coach, it's 100% their own effort. So when they get to Diamond and then rank advanced to, uh, I mean, yeah, rank advanced to Diamond, then that's the effort. That it's your whole team effort. And that's where you start building your residual income. But it doesn't really stop there. As a diamond, a lot of diamonds, they get there and say, okay, I'm here, I'm a diamond, but then they'll look and their residual income is cycling, you know, two, three times, so they're making like $40, $50, and that's not enough to, you know, quit a job or to, to get you to your big why. So it's really like sticking with that as a diamond, and then you as a diamond finding those business, you know, hopefully you, you've got a couple, but that you develop a couple of your business builders your gold ships to become diamonds themselves. Yeah. And that's when your volume is going to start exploding. Before that, you know, if you get yourself to diamond as a, you know, basically with discount coaches, you're not going to have a lot of volume. You're not going to have a lot of income and a lot of diamonds like end up quitting because it's not hard to walk away from $50 a week when you stopped, you know, having your own effort. It's when you get yourself to like, one star that means you know you're a real leader and you've actually helped someone else get there yeah. you know one star two star or helping them find some business builders and like i said i'm a three-star diamond but i have i don't know at least 30 diamonds in my downline you know that is bringing in a ton of volume and a ton of um and, and i'm never gonna quit i'm never walking away from that you know yeah. it's you know but yeah the problem with diamond I mean, getting to diamonds obviously important, but like that can't be your end goal because you can get to diamond and have zero leaders on your team. You know, you could have eight coaches, but all of them discount coaches and two emeralds that are, you know, maybe they signed up their mom and like an aunt. So you don't, you got to diamond, which is great, but you haven't found those business leaders that are going to take your business to that next level with you. Uh, so, you know, I'd be more concerned with, developing some really solid people that are really understand the business that feel really confident with with getting coaches and training their own coaches that to me is more important than rank advancing to diamonds because once you find those business builders you're never going to go anywhere it's amazing like the shift in mindset that happens when a coach finds that first good rock star coach and I'm, I think a lot of you guys are probably on like Kelly Hanner's team she calls it like she talks about like her tribe like people that she doesn't really feel like she's working when she's talking to them. They're just like her friends that she clicks with. When you find that first person, that, that first rock star that you really click with that doesn't feel like work and you're just excited to work with them, you're never going to go anywhere. It's because this becomes so much more fun. And the cool thing is once you find that first person like that, which you will, it's inevitable. But once you do, now there's two of you out there working together to find the third. So you'll find the third even faster. And then now there's three of you all working together. You got your little tribe of three working hard together and you're going to find the fourth even faster. But it really that, that shift in mindset comes when you, when you find that first really good rock star that, uh, that you click with that really is all in with this thing as much as you are. And that comes with training them and really getting them to that point where they feel confident in this thing. And yeah, and the more, re and like Pat said, you know, and the more relationships you build with the people in your downline and with your own personally sponsored coaches, which once again, he's always about get to live events. I mean, not everyone can get there, but if you can, and you get that bonding and that um, relationship built, that's another reason that they're here to stay. You know, they're never going to leave because they've, they've got friends. They're part, part of something bigger than themselves. Um, so now we'll just quickly go into this is my niece's organization and she's an emerald and um, I don't know if you've watched the video um, up here Casey Bocklet you can view details so you can click on any coach's body in your downline and you can look at this 
And over here, you can look at your own orders, or you can look at, um, you can actually see, you know, that's the business fee. Um, and you can do that with coaches in your downline. If um, somebody's going inactive or something, you might want to get in there and investigate a little bit. Um, and this is kind of cool. This is new in the last couple of months, this genealogy detail. And when I'm talking with coaches that, you know, I, they're in my downline, but I don't know them personally, or, you know, I've, I'm just kind of working with them. I always like to go in here and click because this shows me like Casey has 50 coaches on her left leg and she has five coaches on her right leg. So, you know, before, you know, I didn't really know her organization so this shows me that this is her strong leg that the team is helping her build. And this is her weak leg, which is, you know, with five coaches on it. Um, and so also, you know, once again, it's not a hundred percent her own effort. It's the effort of her team. So when I, when I talk to coaches about when I look at this graphical um, and a lot of you, you, you know, you've heard this in, and if you understand it, that's great. And the more you hear it, the more confident you become. And sometimes it's like you can understand what I'm telling you or when, you know, you're like, yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that. But it's like when you really hear it a lot, it, that makes you be able to repeat it. And that's the whole key to this business is duplication. So whatever you learn that you can turn around and duplicate it, keep it very simple um, so when you can kind of explain this to your own coaches, um, then they can be more confident so they can turn around and do the same thing. So yeah. when I look at this graphical, there's two things I look at first. Um, and, and usually, you know, this is like a new coach you're talking to, or, you know, some of you are emeralds and you're getting to diamond. So there's two things going on. There's rank advancement, number one, and then there's your, um, volume for your residual income. So for rank advancement, you know, new coaches, it's a little confusing because it's, you have to personally sponsor one coach on your right leg and you have to personally sponsor one coach on your left leg. And a new coach, when they're looking at this organization, they would go, okay, I have a coach over here. So, you know, I only need one more and I'm going to be an Emerald. And it's like, no, you have to, even though they're there, you have to personally sponsor your own coach. And you saw that in the drill down and down here farther, um, Casey has a PS coach cause it has the PS on it. And we'll find that a little later. But another thing that's very confusing to coaches is, okay, so I didn't sign that coach, but where did that coach come from? So what my simple um, explanation for that is, say for Casey, say pretend that you're signing into Emily's account. And now if Emily is looking at her own account, all she can see is herself, her left and her right leg. She can't see Casey. She can't see any of these other coaches. So you up there, you have a left and a right leg. And we always build like the outline of a Christmas tree. So we always build to the outside left or to the outside right. And for the... The reason is that's the team building and we're helping all the teams on our, uh, all the coaches on our left leg have a strong leg and then it's up to them to build their weak leg, which would be their right leg. Now the opposites on the right leg, um, you build to the outside right. So you would always go down to the very last spot on the outside right. So you're helping all the coaches on your right leg build a strong leg on their right leg and then their left leg is their weak leg. Now if Casey... So this kind of makes it um, a little more, um, they understand where Emily came from because Casey has coaches up above her, like my sister Terry, and she signed Emily. And when Casey signs a coach that goes down here, then they can understand, oh, somebody up there is putting a coach. And because we build to the outside left and we build to the outside right, and we actually have... Can I say something? Uh -huh. We actually have this to let you, you know, go to your bottom left or go to your bottom right. So uh, for you guys, I, this is like something you, you'll, you'll eventually want to do with your team. And what I would write down if you're taking notes for like you to be able to go and do this with your team, just write down hashtag volume is volume and volume is king. If your goal in this business is to create more financial freedom, it's going to come from creating team volume. And what the reason I say hashtag volume is volume is because it doesn't matter if a coach is personally sponsored. It doesn't matter if a coach above you placed them below you. It doesn't matter where the coach came from. If they are in your downline, when you go to my business, my downline, graphical genealogy, if they are 
in your downline, no matter who signed them up, their volume is equal to a coach that you personally signed up. Volume is volume and volume is king. That's what's going to create your, your residual income, your financial freedom. So every coach in your downline, treat them the exact same, whether you sign them up or not. That, I think, is a big thing that coaches overlook. So if I have a coach in my downline that I didn't personally sign up, but they have the potential and they want to make this work, I'm going to work with them just as much as I'll work with my personally sponsored coaches because their volume is just as equal to my personally sponsored coaches. And when, when, when these coaches really understand that, and we did a lot of calls today, I did a lot of, um, like four calls with um, Pat's coach, uh, four of his coaches that are, um, you know, almost diamond and just really trying to get this concept across. And the more you hear it and understand it and you can explain it to your coaches, I mean, it's what, like what I would do with all of you guys on this call, the first thing I would do if I were you is go to this. I would go to my business, my downline, graphical genealogy, and I would look at every single coach in your, in this, in your organization, in your downline, left and right leg. And I would make a list of all those coaches and I would friend all of them on Facebook. I would connect with every single one of them. I would reach out to all of them. What I would probably do though is like, just go in, look at who's in your downline. And if you're not, who, if you're not sure who they are, all you got to do is click on them, click on view details, and it'll say their sponsor. So you can, then you can reach out to their sponsor and say, hey, I see so-and-so in my downline. Are they a business builder or a discount coach? If they're a business builder, that's someone you want to reach out to, no matter if they're personally sponsored or not, right? The reason for that is all these coaches in your downline the more connections they have with other coaches on the team, the more likely they're going to be successful because this is a long haul business. They need to have connections with other coaches on the team besides their personally sponsored. So if they're in your downline, reach out to them, connect with them. The more connections they have, the more likely they're going to stick around long enough to really have success with this thing, which is going to create more success for you as well. So that's one of the homework assignments I would say yeah. go in your downline and really List, make a list of the names and then connect with the people that are really in this to build a business. Yeah, make sure you know what's in your discount. Yeah. Okay, so back to what I was saying that, you know, that's awesome. I mean, that's, that's what this is all about. Um, but when I was saying build to the outside left and right, um, one other thing I just wanted to point out is the reason you want to build to the outside like that because you're helping every coach here um, you're going to help them with their volume because you're going to put coaches under them. And like they said, anybody, any coach that's under you is going to help you. So you wouldn't want to come over here to Maria and put a coach over here on her weak leg. That's not your job. Your job is to help build one strong leg for all your coaches on your, on your left leg and your right leg. And it's their job to go in and build their strong, their weak leg. And they'll be the team builder for, the coaches on their weak leg. Right. So like if Casey were signing a coach, she would put the coach all the way down at the bottom right here. So because if she places a coach all the way down on the, we call it the bottom outside. So this is the bottom of her right leg on the outside. This coach that's going to be in this red spot here is going to help the right leg of Sarah. It's going to help the right leg of Kelsey. It's going to help the right leg of Stephanie. And all the way up. It's going to help the right leg of all these coaches all the way up. But if Casey put a coach like on the inside leg right here, that helps Stephanie and it helps Maria, but it cuts off these other two coaches. It doesn't help Kelsey and Sarah. So you always want to put your coaches bottom outside right here. So it helps everyone all the way up on that right leg. Sometimes if it's, if you're building your left leg, it's always going to go on the bottom outside on the left side and it's going to help all those coaches on their left leg. And, and another reason, I mean, that is the main reason. And the other reason you don't want to is, like, you would never want to put a coach over here. First of all, she doesn't know who Stephanie is. Stephanie's not active right now. I mean, she might be becoming active. But you could kill a coach. I mean, you could put them in a – we call it a – Not literally kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you kill them. <laughs> um, but if you put a coach over here – um, on this right leg. And if Stephanie decides not to work the business, this coach has to work the business all by themselves. So 
when which is fine i mean that's what you know basically kind of what i was doing i had to build two legs but obviously but you know that's not you ideal it, you know i ideally you'd want to be able to help your coaches by building one of their legs and then it's up to them to take advantage of that by building their other side yeah because back to the cycling um the volume it's 200 points on one leg and 100 on the other leg so when you help build that strong leg you're helping them get their always have their 200 points so basically you just have to get your 100 on the other side with that being said um, once again we said that um, as an emerald you max out on volume at 250 volume points so Beachbody you know they're smart about this uh, multi-level marketing it's not like you can sit there sign a coach on one leg and the other leg find some gold ships and let everybody else do the work for you and you sit back twiddle in your thumb and make two three thousand dollars well it doesn't work that way they only let you make 250 then they're like wait a minute you got to sign more coaches that's why you need to get to diamond and then while you're doing that they're like you have to put some skin in the game on the strong legs so you have to put four coaches over there with an emerald because you have to help everybody has to do that so that's why it gets so strong and then you put your four coaches in your emerald on your weak leg and then you'll spend most of your time over there on your weak leg trying to create more volume by finding those business builders because in theory your strong leg once you get your four coaches over there and you've done your kind of your job for a while everybody else is doing that and it's gonna get really strong and you saw like Casey, she had 50 coaches on her left leg, so that leg's taken off. So once she gets herself to diamond, she can spend most of her time after that on her weak leg for a while, so she can get her volume up there, so she gets her residual income. Yeah. What I would, what I do, like when I bring a coach in here, you know, the first thing I'll say is kind of volume is volume, and it doesn't matter where the coach came from, they're just as important as a personally sponsored coach. The next, one of the things the coach will say to me is, let's just say like your name is Maria and this is your downline and you see, let's say you've signed like one coach, you know, Deborah, and then there's all these coaches on your right leg. I guarantee that like over half of you, when you guys go into your graphical genealogy, it's probably the first time you've seen this and you're going to say to yourself, who are these coaches and where did they come from? I get that all the time from coaches. They have no clue that there's all these coaches being placed in one of their legs and they have one leg being built for them so it's really cool for you to bring your coaches in here and for you to do it yourself to see that oh my gosh I have all these coaches in my downline already in one of my legs growing like crazy and even if you've been struggling with the business and you haven't signed any coaches yet that's fine you have a team that's helping you build one of your legs for you so all those coaches that are there that you haven't signed they're just as good as as if you had signed on yourself so the first thing, okay, volume's volume. All these coaches are just as valuable as if you personally signed them when it comes to volume. The next thing I'll tell them is you have one leg that's being built for you that's creating tons and tons of volume. And the beach body business model is very smart because the potential is there. It's huge. When you have one leg being built for you, the, the potential is through the roof. But it's also smart because you have to earn that potential by getting coaches on the other side. So yes, the potential is crazy and you have one leg being built for you and you have this, I call it like a bank account that's growing and growing and growing and, the, and you, you can't really touch the bank account yet, but it's there growing like crazy. And all you gotta do to turn that bank account into real money is to get that first good coach on the other side. So volumes volume is the first thing you wanna tell your coaches. And, and actually show them all these people so they get excited about real people in here. And then you want to show them that this one leg is growing and it's, it's their bank account that no one else can touch except them. And it's growing like crazy. And in order for them to really turn that into real income, they just need to get that other leg going. Sounds good. Okay, so now that you see these coaches on both legs and you, and, and, and it will be so much more meaningful, like I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls with, um, you know, coaches and we share their screen and we're talking about their organization. So it's much more exciting when you're actually looking at your coaches and the coaches on your left leg and your drill down and the coaches on your right leg and when we start talking about volume. So it just makes you focus that much more. 
So, but you know, you've seen some of these coaches on Casey's left, right, and, and left leg and right leg. So now, um, you know, like we we say volume, but volume comes from their PV. So Pat and everybody in the coach group, they post the PV for the coaches every week. That's a big deal. Well, every coach, like Deborah Stone, Maria, the Stephanie, everyone. The week starts on Thursday, ends on a Wednesday. It's whatever their personal volume is. So it's whatever you purchase yourself or whatever your customers purchase creates your your volume, your PV. So each one of these coaches has PV for the week. It's all totaled up. And when you look at my volume, here it is over here. So the RV, when you go to my business, my volume, this is something cool. Like I look at it every day and then watch it grow. It's just exciting to me. Um, so this is Casey's, but when you're in your own organization, these, these coaches names are going to mean something to you. But right here, let's just start, let's do 10, 14, 480 team volume points came from all those coaches that you physically saw on her right leg. Like I said in the video, they're humans. They're humans working underneath you, you know, and everyone's like team building together. So all these coaches that you just saw, Marie, Deborah, Kelsey, Sarah on her right leg, had this is how much PV that Maria had this week. She had 285. So when you click on that, she actually, you know, she's she bought something herself, probably this one down here, this order. Oh, no, this is actually a customer that bought. So here she had a customer, Melody, that bought Shakeology. So that brought 90 PV. And then she had somebody um, get a club membership, which is 15 PV. And then she actually had somebody. um, So when you see that no results, that means that's the actual coach that they purchased something themselves. So you, you don't see the customer. So this is um, Marie's PV for the week. And then you can do that for every coach and just see what's going on. And and you can look for your own personally sponsored coaches' names in here too. And this is one way that you can actually see um, what your coach is doing. If they have some volume, you can click on it and you can see if they actually sold something to a customer. And because that's really the only way that you can actually see your coaches, what they're you know, if their customers bought something. So that's another way that you could, um, you know, talk to them about it and say like, Hey, I saw you sold a challenge pack to so-and-so, you know, you know, are they interested in being a coach or whatever? Um, so that's all the coaches on the right leg. And then over on the left leg, you know, on the right leg, she had five coaches. So there's not as much volume on the left leg. She has 50 coaches. So we'll go in here for the two to 2,229. Now look at, these are all those coaches that were in her downline on her right leg on her left leg, you know, so you might not see all the coaches. If a coach is a discount coach, they buy Shakeology once a month. So their PV is going to be 90 PV once a month. So you're not going to get a lot of volume out of discount coaches. You use them basically to rank advance yourself to diamond. And also, you know, and you do help coach the customers, you know, get a discount, but really it's the um, business builders that are going to bring in your volume. And they're the ones that are duplicating the business like you that are trying to get them, their, their self to diamond. So not only are they having customer volume with their PV, they're signing coaches. And once again, when they sign a coach, if they're below you, that coach is going to go below you on that leg. So that's even more volume. And that's how your team grows and your coaches grow. So you can just watch the number every day or every week as your coaches grow and you can see your volume will be growing, which is your residual income. So here's all the coaches, the same thing. Like we could click on how Emily. many like of those coaches are her personal sponsor. Yeah. And she like only like two on that side. Yeah. She has like two out of this 50 and on the other leg she has five and they're all her own but once again like pat said volumes volume it doesn't matter that's the cool thing there's two things going on in the the graphics so i would like go like this carrie martabano with yeah. 270 volume points like i if i was casey i'd be like that's someone that i should be spending time with like looks like she sold three challenge packs or something like in a week mm-hmm. so if I was Casey, I'd be like, all right, this is someone that I should reach out to and see how I can help them 
really take this to the next level because they're already putting in the effort. Right. Even though Carrie's not personally one of Casey's personally sponsored coaches. Exactly. So, um, yeah, this is, this is team volume here. Yeah. The personal volume is each coach's personal volume, which is called PV, which turns into team volume That's for like, you. For some reason, people have, I think I have a trouble with that. So team like volume, all the coach, right all the coaches in your downline, total. all the coaches in your downline and your left and right leg, when they buy stuff, it's their PV, but their PV is what creates your team volume, your yeah. TV. So it totals up. So like my mom, she's in my left leg. If she buys Shakeology, that's 90 PV personal volume points for her, which creates 90 team volume points for me because she's in my downline. That's good. Right. So all that PV for the week of, from every coach turns into your TV. So when, then once we get, so once we've done that, then now it's just a matter of Wednesday night, the system calculates your team, um, bonus, your team cycle bonus, which is as, uh, for every 200 points, which on, for her example, would be her strong leg, would be her left leg. She has a gazillion points over there, so she always has her 200 points. So if she has another 100 points on her right leg to match that, they minus it from the total, and she makes $14 as an emerald and $18 as a diamond. And it's the exact same calculation whether you're um, an emerald or a diamond. And once you become an emerald is when your your um, your volume points are accumulate and they never you never lose them. So if if she definitely we can show you her carryover. That's a good thing for people to check too. My business, my volume, my carryover volume. Yeah. So I'm looking at her left leg. You saw that she generates, you know, she has 50 coaches generating volume, personal volume, which is her team volume every week. So she has 34,117 carryover volume points. She never loses it. Once she becomes an emerald, it just keeps um, accumulating. And then if she has, you can see on her right leg, she only has 44 points. So this week, as soon as she gets up to another 56 points, which gives her the 100, they'll minus it, the 200 on the other side, and then she'll um, cycle and make $14. And this if, is honestly like what, what got me to like really go all in with, this, with the business was I had one leg that was growing. And most of you guys probably have one leg that's growing a lot faster than the other which is what happened to me. I had one leg that was growing really fast that my mom was in and she was doing really well and got the diamond. And so I had all this carryover volume that was sitting there. And that's what I refer to as like your bank account. You have, I had this bank account. I had this one leg with all this carryover volume sitting there, but I, it, couldn't, it couldn't turn into a team cycle bonus because I didn't have the hundred I needed on the other leg. I didn't have any coaches over there, which is probably how a lot of your businesses look right now. But it kind of started to piss me off. I was like, what the hell? Like, I got this one leg that has all this carryover volume. All I got to do is just get one good coach on the other side to really start to eat away at this carryover volume. And that's all it took. Once I found that first good coach on my weak leg, that all that carryover that had been sitting there started to really turn into income. Um, but it was pissing me off because that carryover was like this giant bank account that was just kind of laughing at me. And the more carryover I had, the more the louder it laughed at me, it felt like. And I was like, screw this. I'm going to like crush this carryover. I'm going to, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to find a coach to help me on my weak leg. Yeah. So in, in, in Casey's um, situation, she has five coaches on her right leg. I'm not sure if she's got a business builder yet, but she's, I'm sure she's looking for one. You know, she's almost to diamond, but if she gets herself there as a dis and basically with discount coaches on her right leg and then creates her own emerald with discount coaches, what is she going to have but four coaches that buy Shakeology once a month for 90 PV with an emerald that does. So that's six coaches that buy Shakeology once a month. That's going to bring in 540 volume points once a month. And you're not, you know, you're not going to make any money. All right. And don't, uh, and don't go in. Yeah. So I would say like the homework would be to go into your coach online office, I had one, one go to um, my business, my downline graphical genealogy and look at all the coaches you have there. <laughs> I would like, honestly, like I bet there's probably some of you that have never done that before. 
and maybe you haven't done it before, but you haven't done it in a while, I would look at all the coaches you have in both legs, strong leg, weak leg, and make a list of them and see who sponsored them and reach out to the sponsors and say, hey, I saw that you signed this person. I see them in my downline. Is this someone that I should connect with? Are they a business builder? And one other thing, just super, super quick. I know everybody wants to go to bed. You gotta share your screen, I think. That's not shared. Oh. Okay. Just quick, a lot of coaches I, when I've talked to too, don't, don't even realize, you know, they don't go into their um, commissions. And this to me is another great way, a tool to explain to your coaches um, all the different ways. What's wrong with this thing? You got it right there. You just want to go. So here's your commission. Oh, and then it's okay. listed by week. So like, we'll just look at last week. She made $233. So anytime you see a number that's blue with a line through it, you can always click on it and drill down. So it's always important to do that. So this, just real quick, there's, you know, this is all the ways that you earn as a coach in um, all the ways you earn in this business. And a lot of, you know, the first two ways are as a coach. So you don't need to be an Emerald to get your retail commission. And then once again, you can click on that. And you can look at all your customers and you can actually look at their order and make sure you get compensated for your hard work. And you want your coaches to be aware of this because a lot of them don't even know it, know it exists. And the subscription commission is you, you earn this 40% on any of your customers or any of your personally sponsored coaches when they renew their club membership every quarter, you make 40% of that. So if you have a customer that's a club member, they also, they get the on demand, but they also get 10% off their product. So you're only going to make 15% commission, but when they new, renew their club membership, you're going to get 40%. So you make $15. And then this is the cool part. You know, that's all 100% your effort there. And then this is the team bonus. And Casey made um, $70. So she cycled five times at $14. And um, so that's, and then as a diamond, when she rank advanced, she would make five times at $18. And then when you become a diamond, you get this matching bonus. So any of your personally sponsored coaches that cycle, you actually make another 10%. So if you have a coach that um, is an emerald and makes $14, you would actually click on this and you would see all your coaches that are like emeralds or higher and you would see what they cycled what they cycled and then what your 10%. So it's kind of cool because you can keep track of all your coaches, your personally sponsored coaches. Yeah. So like my mom's my personally sponsored coach. And so she had a team cycle bonus of like $3,000, like whatever last week or whatever. And so I get a 10% match of that because she's my personally sponsored coach and I'm a diamond. So I got $300 just as like a matching bonus and uh, maybe I'll take her out to dinner or something. With her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's another reason to get to diamond. You, you cycle at 18, but then you get that 10%. And it's cool because you can, it's just a great place to just click on and see all your PS coaches. And it's also a guide because, you know, like once you start making a good residual income, that's exciting, but you want your coaches to. Because that's when they'll stick around. You know, if they're making $40, you know, that's, you know, they're not, they're, they're like, okay. 70 is okay. It's, yeah. start, it's starting to like get some momentum here. But we have a little thread that we usually have. Oh, you're in the $100 club, you know, when you cycle, you know, $100. And then, you know, the ones that get to 250 Because if you're an Emerald and you're making over $250, you are like, you're losing money. You have to be a diamond. And then like the 500 club, the 1000 you know, so it's yeah. kind of fun. This is like this retail commission. So like anytime you sell a challenge pack to a customer, it's going to show up under retail commission. If, if, if you sell a challenge pack and the person signs up as a coach and buys a challenge pack at the same time they're signing up as a coach, it'll show up under here as a fast start bonus. Um, just a little, little weird thing like that. The last thing I would say about this is like this retail commission in the beginning as a new coach, that's probably 100% of your income comes from this retail commission because it's hundred percent your effort. But as you start to, like we talked about, reach out to the coaches in your downline and really help them and, and they start to have success and your team volume starts to go up and up and up, this team bonus is gonna grow. And eventually this team bonus is gonna surpass your retail commission. And the reason for that is your retail commission is hundred percent your effort. 
the team bonus is the effort of every single coach in your downline, in your left and right leg. And once you get some momentum in your team and you start to develop one or two good leaders, that team bonus is going to explode and surpass your retail commission. That's where the, re the residual income comes in. Retail commission, 100% your effort. Team bonus is your team's effort. And you can't compete with a whole team. And most time, you know, most people's retail, it's like, you know, $50, $100, maybe $200 per week. But it hardly gets much more than that, maybe $300 when you're killing it with challenge packs. But that team bonus just keeps growing. You know, and it's fun. So for just a really quick recap, it's it's kind of you go into your graphical and you look at your coaches and you friend them and you actually physically see their names and they're down there. They're producing PV. You're all you're helping them when you sign coaches, putting them under them. Then you go to my business, my volume. And that's where you see their personal volume totaled up for the week. So every I go in there every day. I watch my volume tick 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 and it just keeps going and then I you know click and see what you know like Pat goes in there and you look in there and see which coaches are producing PV you know and so then you can just kind of see that growing and then when Wednesday night the computer calculates your um, team cycle bonus and then Thursday morning it's in your commissions and direct deposit to your bank account the next week. And I, and I just love this, you know, to go into the commission because that's just a way to help your coaches. They watch all these videos, all the ways you earn. But when they actually see their own money and see the way they actually see their coach, I mean, they'll see their customer and there's that challenge pack and there's their commission. And, you know, here's your subscription or they signed a coach and it's down there and they made $40. It's real to them. It sinks in, you know, it's not just a video about somebody talking about somebody else. Yeah. That's why it's so important to really get comfortable with my downline, graphical genealogy, number one, and get comfortable with it yourself to the point where you can bring your coaches in here, share their screen, and, they, and you can teach them these things. And so so down, there's three down. things that, you know, my mom and I do this with all our coaches. It's kind of like the second call we do with them. You know, the first call is really – just getting them set up to do their invites, show them how to find and connect with people, how to go through the five-step invite process. Then, you know, once they're pretty comfortable with that, this is the second call. And the three things we always show them are, number one, we look at the graphical genealogy and we look at the coaches they have. And you can also look at the sponsorship drill down, which is what we – those are the thing. two things, graphical yeah. genealogy and sponsorship drill down. That's where they're going to start to see – all these coaches that they have on their team that they probably didn't even know were there. Number two, you want to show, you want to go to my volume and actually have them click on the number under the left volume and the right volume. So they see those names again and the volume that each of those people are creating for them. And then third, you want to show them the breakdown of commission. So they kind of see there's like two main ways you earn retail, which is hundred percent your effort. And then the team bonus, which is going to grow and grow as you, as your team grows. Cool. All right. It's 10.09. Yikes. You're basically sleeping. Uh, all right. Well, you, if you guys got to take off, you know, thanks for spending over an hour with us. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you know, we can stick around for a little bit. If you have to take off and you have questions, feel free to post your questions in the group in the, and uh, we can answer them in there. But we'll stick around for, to answer some questions live for you guys that want to stick around. But if you guys got to take off, thanks for uh, thanks for getting on, guys. Looks like Jenny Avina's got a question. Oh no, she doesn't. Does anyone have any questions? We can share this with coaches that aren't in the Diamond Dash Diamond group, or no? Sure. Yeah, yeah. And that video. The, did you watch the video I created? That video was great because I always wondered why the hell when I people's orders it said no results oh your video answered it so that was great thank you hope that's not the only thing you took away <laughs> <laughs> no i watch her videos relentlessly every week so that i can then say the exact same thing to my coaches once. there you go that's awesome I talk to my coaches i watch Pat realman's videos so i know that i'm saying it properly. relentless that's good i mean that's a good point to make like what is it's she says she like watches them over and over relentlessly because 
you can watch something and understand it, but there's a difference between understanding something and then really knowing it to the point where you can teach it to other people. And that's where you need to get to. And that comes from relentlessly watching the same videos over and over. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I literally do. I was on a call tonight and I watched that video and another video you did for a training group and then go on the training call. And she was like, Oh, you know this so well. And I was like, well, <laughs> exactly. That's good. Yeah. I think the secret to the business is developing leaders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are the three things that you say that you go over? So it was downline volume commission. And then in the downline, you said graphical gene genealogy sponsorship drill down. And then with the volume to show the left and the right. But wasn't there another part in the volume section? And then the, oh, my oh, carryover. Carry the too. carryover. Okay. So just like PV and carryover? Carryover only if only if they're an emerald because they won't have any carryover if they're not an emerald yet because you can't you can't accumulate volume and carry it over unless you're an emerald okay and then the commissions it was just the different types of commissions right yeah so it's all the different ways you're in oh nikki and jason i was like up all night after sipping that oh, cuban uh, coffee <laughs> I, was, yeah, I was i was like trying to watch the football game last night at like 10 at night and she was like all wound up talking about team volumes. <laughs> I was like, are, what, I was like, what are you like drinking? She's like, I think it was the like, coffee. Oh my God. So you're going to release the blooper video, the one that has no screen. Oh yeah. Yeah. The what? I actually created oh, yeah. the first video, you know, the video you watch for 25 minutes. I actually created the whole video, but I didn't share my screen when I recorded it. So when I looked, watched it after 25 minutes, it was just me talking to myself. I was like, oh, my God. So I had to do it all over. <laughs> well, you always do an awesome job. So thank you <laughs> for doing awesome. it. <laughs> I had a question. When you, when you get that carryover, when you're emerald, and then if you all of a sudden draw it back to coach, do you lose all of that carryover? No. no, not unless you go in. If you go inactive, you will. But as long as you stay active, even if you drop your rank, you'll, you'll keep the carryover. I learned that the hard way uh, about three years ago. I lost 30,000 volume points because I went inactive because one of my customers returned their product because your PV is whatever you purchase plus your customer's purchase within a five-week period and they return something. And that's before. Now they have, in case you don't know, if you – drink home direct if you're on home direct shakeology and you don't change your ship date and you had it you know had it previous month and projected to be shipped you can call if you become if you have customers that return product which would make you um inactive you can call coach relations and they um give you an exception so that you yeah. don't go in as long as you don't change the ship date. yeah you can't change you your ship date. as long as you're on the shakeology home direct like you never have to worry about you never inactive. change the ship date don't delay it or anything but you don't lose it if you go down to coach which is pretty cool it just keeps accumulating and then when you pop back up to emerald that's why you'll see some coaches all of a sudden they'll cycle 250 dollars because they're you know volume you've done that before melissa yeah. you know yeah. all right Any more questions? I have a question for you guys. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Um, so for all of your downline, for, your, for any of your coaches or personally sponsored coaches and coaches and coaches and coaches below you, do you guys do getting started rights? Like how long do you like get yourself involved in them to make sure that the um, – like integrity of their training is being protected from like coaches all the way down your downline. How many levels down do you get involved? As many as it takes. Yeah. You know, hopefully, like, one, but. You know, hopefully <laughs> like, you know, like hopefully you have like, you know, trip is on this call and, uh, and Donnie and there's a couple other coaches on here. Like there, you know, what we'll do is I'll try to get like a couple leaders that, are sufficient enough to like, and, I, and I'll, I'll get them to take ownership of their downline because the coaches that do that, the coaches that look at their downline as their team and take hundred percent ownership of it, whether that coach is personally signed or not, is going to take a ton of pressure off you. And it's going to make them a lot more successful because they're not going to be leaning on you as much. They're going to become more of a leader. Uh, so like, honestly, the answer to any of those questions, like 
how do I do this or that or how do I it's always develop more leaders that's the answer to everything so if you're struggling to get coaches deep in your in your organization to get really strong training my answer would be develop more leaders in in your downline so that that message gets passed along faster and if that means you got to spend more time with with individuals that really want to make this work then do it it's going to be so much it's going to be worth it in the long run for you and for the, the leaders you're helping definitely yeah i appreciate that like i felt like everything was under control we had a welcome email going out to everyone and then i get on my call my team call last week and I was like, you know, where are you struggling? You know, why aren't your coaches feeling empowered to better themselves and take the next step? And where are they? They're kind of MIA. And my coaches were kind of like, oh, well, we're not really sure what to do with them. And I was just like mind blown. I'm like, well, this is like months in the making. Like, <laughs> so you just gotta, I would like try to find like where the disconnect is, you know? Yeah. Like if it's, totally. if you're like, look in your downline where those coaches like the coaches that are saying that where are they in your downline and then look to see like who their upline is that you would expect to be like doing that for them and then have a conversation with those coaches you know have a conversation with those coaches that are above the new coaches that feel that way and just and then maybe you know maybe those coaches need to shadow you, shadow you a few more times on a getting started right call before they're co confident to do it on their own again and do yeah, you for sure Zoom calls with your own personally sponsored coaches, like yeah, individual. Mm -hmm. Yep. So then, are you asking them? Are they? Are you asking them if they're doing that with their own coaches? Um. Yeah. And to be honest, like they'll always kind of be like, "Yeah, I try to get them on the phone, and they're they're really hard to reach, or that kind mm -hmm. of thing." So. You know, I don't know where to like intervene. Like when they announce their new coach, do I like jump in and be like, okay, this is what time we're getting a scheduled call going on. And, you know, at the same time that I want them to be independent and have their freedom and lead their team as they want. If those people are kind of being dropped off on the back end, where do I like jump in to be like, well, we're going to do this getting started right. And I'll set it up for you so that you're not dropping that ball and maybe they feel they'll feel more empowered if I was involved and you know kind of put my face in there yeah you just got to do it in a way where you like you're not stepping on your, exactly. your, your yeah. leader's toes and it's more of like you're asking you're you're, ta you're having a good relationship with your leaders to the point where you can have those conversations with them and say like hey do you want me to help you on this one like do you want me to listen in do you want me to lead it and then you listen right. And I think if you have a good relationship with your leaders, you don't have to worry. You don't have to feel like you're like stepping on their toes because if you have that relationship with them, it's more of a team. And, and like, when I get to that point, I'm like, I love that they're reaching out to my coaches. And I think that they love that I'm reaching out to them too. And we're kind of teaming up on this thing to lead them together. You know, I, but that comes from just having a good relationship with, with the leaders on your team. Yeah. Agreed. Totally. Thank you guys. This was an awesome call. Thank you. Welcome. Anybody else? Tell Jason that meal was a little too big. Yeah, a lot of commentary for Jason. <laughs> he said you, you took him to that Cuban place and you made him eat too much. <laughs> That was good. Okay, I guess. Any other questions? No. Donnie, did that? Donnie, was that helpful after doing an individual one-on-one -on -one with that stuff? Yes, it really was. Probably makes more sense to do to do that one-on-one -on -one than try to like listen to a whole group thing. Yeah, I yeah. Think one -on -one I think everyone. I think everyone needs to bombard Beth and get her to do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom oh, call with you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hey, didn't you hear? We're, we're trying to duplicate leaders. Maybe do that, you know, with their own coaches. <laughs> or find the videos because in our training, in Team Boom's training, everything, like the business side, I see it feels like is a video that Beth made. And they're all amazing. For and coach, you just coach basics, you mean? Well, I can't remember if it was Coach Basics or the uh, Emerald. Well, it's probably the Push the Emerald group. Well, yeah. Uh, no, it's the it's the Diamond. Is it I, Diamond? I it's in the Push the Emerald too. Oh, they must like, have talking some. about like 
I am um, looking through the coach online office. I did a lot of coach basics, but they've replaced me. <laughs> so I'm out of that one. But then I did a, a, I did a diamond group and I guess they took some of them and put them in the emerald and in the diamond. Yeah. But I mean, Beth's videos are the best ones in my opinion that I've seen as far as breaking down how the business works, the business side. So that's why I was so excited to talk to Beth today. I told my husband, I was like, she's so business savvy. <laughs> Yeah, I think what I think what she does a really great job of is like we'll work with the coaches that are a few levels deep, and which takes the pressure off of like her personally sponsored coaches. Like we'll, we'll use my sister Andrea for example. Like when Andrea has a new coach come in, my mom will help train that coach, and when that new coach brings in a new coach, my mom will help and talk to that new coach too. So it really helps that coach that's like four levels deep get more confident and have more success which inevitably creates more success for her coaches that are three levels deep and two levels deep and one level deep. And that excitement is like contagious. You know, when you have a coach that's really successful and that's confident four levels deep in your organization, that creates so much momentum in your business. It just explodes. You know, it really, I think working with coaches that are four levels deep in your organization is almost more important than working with your personally sponsored coaches sometimes because it has more of a ripple effect through your entire business. With that being said, though, I don't do any, like, coach basics training anymore. I mean, I used to, like, two years ago, but my leader, you know, my gold chips are, they, like Pat said, they don't need me. Like, they're better than me, you know, because now it's- That's the goal. You want to get, you want your coaches to, like, be (laughs) more, like, understand this stuff more than you do. Yeah, for all that invites and Instagram and social media and all that kind of stuff, you know, so I kind of come in more with this kind of training now. It used to be, you know, I was, I'm you know, doing. Still up this late training. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. The, I, the cool thing is like I had to take a nap before this call. <laughs> with this, with this business, like with a normal job, you work and you get a salary, right? Let's say you make a hundred grand a year or whatever. If you, with this business, you can like duplicate yourself. You can create another version of yourself. So now you're still making your hundred grand, but now you've created an, another version of yourself that's also making a hundred grand. So you're, now you're making two grand and then you just keep, you continue to duplicate yourself, which is very different than, than a normal job. Uh, so when you're sleeping, the person you duplicated is still working. When you're on vacation, the person you duplicated is still working. So you're, you're creating residual income around the clock and that's why the earner, earning potential is so crazy. And she's done a great job of duplicating herself to the point where she doesn't even really need to work the business anymore. No. Well, they don't need me. You know, they're that's, better than me. So. Oh yeah. So that's, <laughs> yeah. Like that's I didn't make success. That, that'll be the day when she's not working or thinking about the business. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your it's your yeah. passion. Yeah. It's her passion. All right. All right. Any more questions? That's one more quick question. So the when you get on the phone call with the um like with your downline for going over like you were saying the the downline the volume the commission regarding the volume so the left and the right is something that you could show a non-emerald coach but the carryover is something you're only showing an emerald coach right right i'm just trying to get my list of things to talk about and i wouldn't overwhelm like new coaches with this it's more about getting them to you know invite Get them in the yeah, channel, like converting. Second, you know, it's maybe like a third call. Yeah, you this. don't want to overwhelm people. You know, you want. This isn't get part them. of the. It's not part of the tunnel vision yet. <laughs> you know, the tunnel vision is five best friends a month. Get them like get them mastering those vital behaviors, personal development every day, being proof to product work, and sharing the journey, and inviting. Get them to really master those three things first, and then like once they feel comfortable with that you can bring them in and show them this stuff. And you are talking about, you know, get to Emerald, make success club, success club starter. And you can help them with that. You know, you know, you know, telling them about the two coaches and one on the left and right, you know, helping them do that. And once they've got at least one coach, maybe almost two, then I think this is a great, um, you know, video, you know, um, training lesson to do with them because they have something to look at for one. This you is know. the big picture training. This yeah. is like the long term. You know, if you have someone that really is business savvy and they want to know the long term, like the big picture, yeah. you can do this call with them, you know, sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like your uh, principals or assistant principals. Yeah. Bon, bon, bon. All right. Good night.